Hello. Um, be uh, heading back north here in a few hours. I've been killing myself the past couple of days testing the new uh, 2.0 firmware on uh, the X-T2 Fujifilm. Testing, retesting, absolutely everything. Um, I think there's 22 features in total. I went over each and every feature to make sure it was working correctly. Um, there's about 10 major features. There's about 5 frou-frou features, but I mean it really does uh, help out the camera a great deal. Um, importantly, however, I don't shoot uh, advanced uh, filters. Um, However, we do have the ability now to shoot to RAW and uh, ISO and dynamic range and white balance and film simulation uh, and bracketing, which is a uh, huge bonus. Uh, full range ISO adjustment with a command dial, so I no longer have to actually touch the uh, uh, actual physical dial on the, the top of the camera. I can actually just press in on the front command dial and uh, adjust uh, the ISO. And alternatively, if you have a... Uh, lens without an aperture ring like the 27 millimeter 28 it uh, you press it in and then you press it in again to select back and forth between aperture and ISO adjustment importantly and I did test this out there is now faster uh, face detection for autofocus for face detection and eye detection that definitely does work faster it was fast before but it is faster now um, improved in focus indication for autofocus mode so the updates uh, reduce uh, focus hunting. It was not bad before, it was actually better than the D500 by a hair, and I proved that. Uh, there's a guy with a lot of hair that uh, said that uh, in his recent video, and it's okay, you've only had the Fujifilm X-T2 for a few days. There are several things you have to know about how to adjust it correctly for correct continuous autofocus tracking, correct uh, zone, correct area, correct mode, obviously boost mode on, and uh, those have to be set correctly. Um, so it is faster than a DSLR, most of them anyway. It's really faster than my D500 just by a hair, however. I proved that in a video, I don't know, like six or seven months ago. Um, but it's uh, now been improved. Uh, there's addition, like I said, of a smaller autofocus point. So instead of five autofocus area points, we now have six. The sixth one just added is really teeny tiny, which would be good for eye and uh, macro photography, especially when the macro lens comes out for the Fujifilm. Um, portrait uh, slash landscape autofocus switching mode. Uh, the addition of that uh, change of uh, focus frame position uh, while enlarging it. This actually lets you actually change the focus frame position while enlarging it in single point or manual focus mode for AF and MF mode will actually let you do a manual focus override in single point autofocus or obviously so manual focus in manual focus mode. Um, voice memo function. The real big one uh, for certain is uh, extended uh, auto exposure bracketing up to nine frames. That's a biggie. All I really need is five. You know, three was not enough, which is what it was before this update. Five was plenty. I really hardly ever use more than five, but now there's nine. That's absolutely wonderful. People have been bitching about that uh, Fujifilm now for ages. It literally is exactly like I said, a, a new camera. I mean, not entirely, obviously, but I mean, the autofocus, the eye and face detect is faster. It is faster. It's significantly faster. Why has nobody else reported on this? I guess because it's only been out for 48 hours. I've actually been killing myself last night going over each and every one of these updates on the X-T2 with the uh, firmware 2.0 update. And they're all working correctly. And uh, it's a lot of features. And there are, I think, seven more features to be added in May. I assume that they're still bug checking those to make sure that they work correctly. So kudos to Fuji. Um, Nikon or Canon or anybody else is, you know, giving out major firmware updates like that. I mean, none of them are. Not even close. This is to the level that you would see, like, in another camera down the line. Almost not literally, but, I mean, pretty damn close. Some, some significant feature updates. So, I made sure I went over all, every one of these important firmware updates over and over again so I could comment intelligently on how to adjust them. And make sure I familiarize with them myself with them fully. Um, that's wonderful. I no longer have to hit the ISO dial. I just hit the front command dial. Um, the important point is that it, whichever one you like, you have the option now, whereas you didn't have the option before. You actually had to physically, physically set the ISO dial. 
Unless you're in auto ISO, but I, don't, I never shoot in freaking auto ISO anyway. If you were a normal person choosing an ISO, you didn't have the choice before, whereas you do now. So, that's it. Fujifilm is still back-ordered on these cameras. I hope that I am partially responsible for that, because I praised it endlessly, and I'm not a person that just praises stuff blindly. However, people are going to say that now that I've got Fujifilm tattooed on my hand right here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is a thousand-mile drive tomorrow. <sighs> oh my God, that's too much. Anyway, kudos to Fujifilm on the X-T2 firmware update. That's awesome stuff. That's a really significant update. It is. Thank you, Fujifilm, and thank you for everybody watching. Let me know if you got any questions. Uh, and uh, I guess that's it. Thank you so much. Drop a buck or two. You tell me you jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. I will return to my normally scheduled low-budget videos in two days when I return to Kentucky. Okay?